what the hell are you looking at? Um, let me rewind a couple of months. A couple of months ago, I was in LA at the time. Uh, I got an email from a company called Inventables. And I thought they had so reached the wrong person. It said, uh, hey there, do you want to test our new CNC machine? Uh, our CNC carving machine. I was like, that sounds like they totally sent it to the wrong person because I have always been madly intimidated by these machines. I have no interest uh, in uh, 3D drawing, uh, in these carving things because I've seen a few in the past and they always looked super complicated to me. So I contacted them, I said, hello, uh, you know, must have reached the wrong person uh, because I have no experience with these machines. Uh, they they kind of scare me. Uh, I don't like them and uh, I, I really have uh, no experience whatsoever with them. And uh, I don't know, I was planning on keeping it that way. And they said to me, I said, uh, <laughs> They said, well, that sounds like you're the perfect candidate to test one of them out. So we want to send you one. You just go have a look at it. If you do not like it, then by all means, just be honest and uh, tell it as well. And if you do like it, uh, then just go have fun with it. See what you can make. I uh, said, are you absolutely sure about it? They said, we're absolutely sure. You just go on our website, assemble the machine uh, the way you want to have it, and uh, we'll ship it out to you. Uh, if you do not like it, no harm done. Okay, so I went on uh, inventables.com. I went to their website. That's also where you can uh, assemble the machine. Uh, I'm still bad at muting myself, where you can assemble the machine to your uh, exact uh, uh, wishes and specifications. It's open source, so if you see something that you do not like, you do not need to order it. Uh, for example, the wasteboard. Some people don't like it, uh, so you can just uh, leave that out. It is, by the way, really handy to clamp stuff down, but I will get to that in most likely another video because there's so much that I want to tell about this machine. A um, few weeks later, the thing arrives. That's also why you haven't seen any videos in uh, the past couple of weeks because I've been submerged in building this thing up, uh, learning about it, getting the hang of it, and most of all, having an absolute blast uh, creating stuff with it. So, uh, you get a ton of separate boxes, everything is labeled, it is in a way comparable to uh, putting together an RC kit. This is no more work than uh, assembling, for example, uh, an Axial Yeti XL, just to put it in like uh, RC uh, terms. Uh, that's how complex it is and that's how uh, difficult it is to, to assemble such a machine. The cool thing is, once you start building it, it for me at least, it took away all of my uh, apprehensiveness about these machines and about CNC because I didn't even know which one was the X axis and the Y axis and the Z axis. I, I had an idea that the Z axis would be somewhere over there. But other than that, I had no idea what is what. Now, as you assemble the machine, it start, sort of starts to make sense. Like uh, when you assemble an RC car, you see all the parts, they don't make any sense. And as soon as you start to put it together, Together, uh, it all sort of starts to uh, get more meaning and you instantly uh, get a grasp of what uh, it mechanically does. Same with this thing. So you, you start building it up and I ha also had when I started building it up that you really appreciate the thought and uh, the ingenuity that went into assembling this thing. Now having no experience uh, prior to me getting my hands on this machine. Uh, I, I had a look at all the other machines that are out there. They're all very complicated with assembling. There's a lot of parts. This one, uh, compared to uh, the, the machine that they previously offered, which is called, um, from the top of my head, a Shapoko. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. It contains 50% less parts. Now, that's something that you really like if you are, uh, like me, for example, new to this type of thing. The less complicated it is uh, and the easier to assemble, the better. So, uh, I started building it up. Uh, slowly fell in love with the machine uh, because it's just, uh, well, I don't know what you think. I think it is a gorgeous uh, thing to look at. And um, by putting everything together, you, you start to understand how everything works. The instructions, by the way, that you can find on the website, the assembly instructions are perfect. They're super clear. I just changed a couple of things. Uh, I will take you over them really quick. I added some of my shrink tubing just because I want to have like this murdered out uh, look going on. I added some of my shrink tubing around uh, the belts as well. You tighten these belts 
and rather than just uh, trusting the, the teeth of the belt to hook together and to keep everything in place I don't want uh, any belt slipping uh, like halfway through a project so I put some uh, shrink tubing around uh, the, the belt ends just to make sure that they actually stay into place I upped the voltage or the, the power to the stepper motors a tiny bit that's also a really easy tweak uh, and apart from that I did not have any problems if you do run into any issues there's a, a forum as well on uh, the inventables.com website where you can just uh, ask your questions they're super helpful I dare say that uh, when it comes to customer support uh, and troubleshooting and all that stuff these guys uh, they do an outstanding job I've never seen more happy customers on a forum than I have at uh, the Eventables website. And this is really not me uh, being paid to say anything nice about them. This is just me being, as always, brutally honest with you. Because if this thing sucked balls, you would have heard it as well. And it doesn't. Uh, in fact, the machine is so cool that it actually inspired me to learn something new. Something that I thought that I would not do at uh, my age. I turned uh, 33 today, hooray. Um, yeah, so having, having assembled the entire machine, by the way, uh, takes you a day. Uh, after that, I dove into uh, Easel. Easel is a free piece of software that, uh, that's available online uh, on the Inventables uh, website. Uh, you, go, you can click into Easel. Easel is best comparable to, I think, uh, Microsoft Paint. It is a really basic program, but uh, if you get a bit creative, it does allow you to do a whole lot of stuff. Uh, so I've been trying my hand at uh, drawing up some parts uh, for my Yeti Double XL, uh, but first I needed to do some test work. Uh, so what I did is I carved this. I will also put a link to uh, an, an online converter that allows you to convert whatever image you have. This was a, a regular uh, image that I had converted into an SVG file. That's a file that gets uh, recognized by Easel and it allows you to, to tweak it a tiny bit, set it up the way you want. And this for me was just a test piece, uh, a test cut, just to see if the machine worked uh, as I hoped uh, and to see if everything was calibrated correct, which it was. Um, now, in Easel, I've been creating a lot of drawings in Easel for my uh, Yeti Double XL. Uh, this video you won't see anything about it, but the next video I promise you you will see a whole lot about my uh, Yeti Double XL and also how it uh, uh, how this machine comes into play with finishing up that uh, project because having this machine to me was uh, crucial. What I'll be doing is I will be making every single drawing, every single project that I'm doing from now on. Uh, that I'm making with the X-Carve. All of those drawings will be available online. If you also have an X-Carve or if you know somebody who has an X-Carve, you can just grab my drawings. If you want to build your own Yeti Double XL, for example, just grab my drawings uh, and use them as you please. I think for the future that will be a really cool um, it, well, like an, like an extra feature on my, uh, my channel. Uh, so you can really build along with me without having to need to draw anything up. You can just grab the drawings that I've already made because drawing stuff up is uh, the most work. Uh, import them into your own easel and uh, carve them the way you want or the way that you do not want. Because I will make uh, files uh, available separately. For example, logos, those type of files, you can just leave them out if you uh, do not like them or add your own. Um, yeah, so the x a really cool machine that triggered me to learn something new. The thing is with, for example, one of these uh, CNC routers, CNC carvers, if you do not own one, you do not have uh, a need for it. As soon as you own one, there's a whole lot of uh, options that suddenly become available. There's a whole lot of uh, things that you suddenly feel the need uh, for to go carve, to go create. Uh, and for me, uh, because I'm a really uh, creative person, it just, uh, I don't know, it adds to the spectrum of being able to build my own stuff, which I think is uh, super cool. Um, again, well, big thank you to the people at uh, Inventables for uh, trusting uh, my noobness and sending me one of these machines to, to check it out. You will see a whole lot more of uh, X-Car videos coming up uh, and you will see me, my regular stuff as well, uh, painting videos, stuff like that. I just think that uh, in addition to what I'm already doing over here on the channel, uh, this machine will 
I don't know, make it a whole lot better. So that's why you haven't seen me for a couple of weeks. That's also why I will be pummeling you with new videos uh, in the in the weeks to come. If you want to know more about uh, the X-Carve, uh, about the company Inventables or about Easel, go check out all the links in the description box. Uh, I will be having a ton of fun with this thing. If you want to follow along with what I'm currently doing uh, with it, go have a look in the description box as well. There's a link to my Facebook, to my Instagram, uh, to all that stuff. And I hope to see you over there as well. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. And uh, well, don't be like me. Do not uh, feel the need to be intimidated by these machines anymore because they're really, they're, they're not all that scary at all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, I will try to answer them uh, as good as I can because I'm still very new to this. Leave them in the comments box and I hope to see you around. Thanks. Bye-bye.